Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus September 28, 2022. New interests and directions are in the works, with tomorrow's new moon bringing new energy to your life for learning, sharing, and connecting. Today, it's better to reflect, review, and let go. You might also consider what you'd like to improve and change in the upcoming cycle, but do yourself a favor and find the time to catch your breath today. Today, the moon aligns with Mercury in your resources sector, inclining you to think and analyze or communicate more than usual. Playing around with ideas is an enjoyable, light-hearted experience if there's no pressure to arrive at a decision or conclusion. You might gain knowledge that helps your financial picture. It's a good idea to do some unwinding emotionally or detaching yourself from demanding situations. Aim to find activities and perspectives that nurture positive self-worth and self-perception. It can be a happy time to build upon what you have rather than urgently seek something new to do. After the transits from the last few days, today will feel like a nice break in the astrological spell. As the moon in Libra aims to instill a sense of mental peace, you have a clear vision of your compensation and professional value. You may intuitively know that what you are committed to or who you are associated with within your industry can enhance your professional value. Your vision is clear under this peaceful lunation. Since your mind is at peace, you should think about if your professional skills are financially valued through your compensation. Before leaving your income sector today the moon will align with Mercury, just two days before he is due to end all planetary activity on the income side of the financial fence. This brings a nose and a smart head for money together just as both wrap up a friendly aspect to Jupiter, who is on a mission to create job growth and expansion. There is a planetary configuration now that might force you to look at your whole approach to physical health and say, yuck, or, come on, let's step it up. Be appreciative of the insights you have when you feel upset with things because there is much to be said for starting over with a new approach. One small step that is important for you to take, is a serious look at posture especially when you are at your desk. This can help you to avoid back and shoulder pain. The moon is not only spending its final hours in your income sector aligned with Mercury but just two days before he is due to end all planetary activity on the income side of the financial fence. A friendly aspect to Jupiter in your work sector comes just the pace is picking up on the job front, with a nose and a smart head for money not only an advantage now but is the key to working smarter as you move forward. In the meantime, Venus is working to make home where your heart is today. Just as Neptune is slowing down ahead of his direct turn in your relationship sector in four weeks, the moon makes an important return to your communication sector. The moon might return every four weeks but it returns as a new moon just as the available resources are growing in ahead of significant developments on the romantic front tomorrow, your planetary ruler, Mercury is sitting together with the moon and audacious Venus via your second house of comfort, money, and value systems, and you're giving things a lot of thought. Whether it concerns the foundation of your connection or your emotional stability, today's astrology is encouraging you to use your discernment in order to make the choice that's best for you. It is what it is, and you're feeling indecisive, but not for long. On another note, Luna's square to powerhouse Pluto via your romantic fifth house of love creates friction between your desire for stability and submitting to your heart's desires. Walking is probably the most underrated exercise because it doesn't require much exertion, and people do it every day. But how much do you actually do it? Do you walk instead of taking the bus whenever possible? Do you think 8 to 10 blocks is too far to walk? There are serious health benefits from walking, it tones your entire body, you can do deep breathing exercises at the same time, and the body naturally aligns itself when you walk with a straight back and an extended chest. One of the best ways to improve your health is to give yourself more time. No, I am not talking about turning back the clock. Give yourself the time between activities to regroup and understand what you want and need to do next. When we rush from place to place, we lose our sense of purpose and regret the time we waste. 
Even the choice of what you eat will be affected by giving yourself enough time to notice what you really want. Our eyes in the sky. O'Day brings the moon in Libra creating a grand air trine with Venus and Saturn. This is a beautiful energy to lift your spirits. You might be able to step back from your problems and see them from a more analytical perspective. There's a strong feeling of harmony, with the sun and moon in Libra bringing many gifts of happiness and community. You might even be able to express some of the things you've been holding back over the last few days. As Venus in Gemini gently connects with Saturn in Aquarius, there is a refreshing ease of mind. You're able to work around your problems and see the more evolved side of the lesson. Remember that there is some kind of duality in everything. Whether you're taking the good with the bad or understanding the lessons of the shadow side, you have much to appreciate right now. You might even strengthen your connection to a wider group of like-minded individuals who also see the world from a more spiritual perspective, so be open to the people you meet online or off. Secret admirers can come out of the woodworks with little or no warning during transits like these. This week brings you a sigh of relief. You'll find out that change is possible. If you've been lax about stabilizing your career and looking toward advancement, it's time to make a shift. If your career doesn't want to cooperate, you need to map out the steps for change. Money follows when you get in touch with your emotions. Whatever makes you happy will give meaning to your working life. Before noon, retrograde Mercury aligns with Venus in Virgo, helping us to communicate our feelings and desires. However, because Mercury is retrograde, we may also be re-evaluating our affections and determining where others fit into our lives. Planets in Virgo crave structure, and under this influence, we may assess whether romance has become ritualistic instead of helping us to grow. Fortunately, we can discuss sensitive issues with our partners now without hurting their feelings, but we may still come off as more critical than we intend. Maintaining a little bit of self-awareness should help to mitigate this problem. If someone does permit us to assist them, we will make sure they don't forget it. Reminders of how giving and generous we are subtly imply that we are owed a debt of gratitude, which inevitably breeds resentment, making the other party wish they hadn't asked in the first place. We should monitor our actions closely today. Self-reflection is the only way to determine whether we are out of line or overstepping another's boundaries. Before noon, retrograde Mercury aligns with Venus in Virgo, helping us to communicate our feelings and desires. However, because Mercury is retrograde, we may also be re-evaluating our affections and determining where others fit into our lives. Planets in Virgo crave structure, and under this influence, we may assess whether romance has become ritualistic instead of helping us to grow. Fortunately, we can discuss sensitive issues with our partners now without hurting their feelings, but we may still come off as more critical than we intend. Maintaining a little bit of self-awareness should help to mitigate this problem.